Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Block Thrasher Daily Crypto Update, where we are thrashing the complexities of crypto, bringing you today's hottest news, along with some commentary, analysis, a little bit of education. It is Thursday, June 24th, 9.18 a.m., and I am in the beautiful, beautiful state of Wyoming, just outside Yellowstone at the entrance, the east entrance, Yellowstone in Cody. It's a small town, just under 10,000 people. Definitely a tourist place, but very, very beautiful and lots and lots of people who are visiting and who are very happy and friendly everywhere you go. Everything is packed. You would not know that we had just been through a pandemic being here. Everyone is smiling. You don't see a mask anywhere. Just enjoying life. It's really good to see. The people are super friendly. I like it. I like it here a lot. I don't know if it's a place that I would settle down in just because there's not a lot of trees. It's not as forest like as you might think. Yellowstone is absolutely unbelievable. We went through there the other day, saw the buffalo and the bison. And it made me think instead of the typical bull that you see. <laughs> When you see the bull and the bear, it's like, I'm waiting for the next bison run. These things are just massive, massive creatures, huge, majestic creatures. But you've got the bison there and you've got the elk and the deer and the osprey and all kinds of wildlife. And it is just beautiful and beautiful to see with the the hot springs and the geysers, all of it. Definitely, if you haven't had a chance, you've got to make sure that one day you get a chance to go see Yellowstone. We saw a bear as well. It was just really, really, really cool. Well, that's a non sequitur in terms of what we have to talk today about today, which is crypto. And that is our word of the day, non sequitur. N O N S E Q U I T U R. Non sequitur. It means something said or written that is unrelated to what immediately precedes it. Let's jump in and take a look at the market and see what's going on. Now, I haven't been with you for a few days, and I apologize for that. I think it's been about a week. I've just been in places where it was difficult to get internet connection, where it was difficult for me to get set up in a place where I could record a podcast. I've been so busy on the road as I was traveling from one location to another. But Now I'm in a place, and I'm going to sit tight for a while, and I'm going to be able to bring these daily crypto updates to you every single day. All right. So please accept my my apology. Moving on to the market. What is happening? Total market cap is down from where we were seeing it for so long at 1.5 to 1.6, 1.7. Now it is at $1.414 trillion with no movement in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin's dominance has risen a bit from where we've been seeing it in recent weeks and months. It's now 45.2% percent just up a couple points actually though ethereum at 16.2 percent and gas prices are low with standard being 16 way bitcoin bitcoin is down on the week now if we look at the top 10 cryptocurrencies for the week everything everything is down who is down the most polka dot down 29.5%. Who is down the least? Not who, what, which? Cardano, down 8.9%. So in terms of losses in this bear market, or not bear market, but downturn, I should say, I don't think we could confirm that we're in a bear market yet. Cardano is doing best. It's actually also... Partly because in the last 24 hours, it is seeing the greatest increase up 9% to $1.37. Cardano holding strong and looking good. Now, Bitcoin is at 34329 It is also up almost 3% in the last 24 hours. So we're seeing the market turn in a positive direction, which is good. Ethereum is up 1% to 1992 Binance coin up 6% to 308 Cardano, as I mentioned, up 9% to 137 Dogecoin up 4.2% to 24 cents. 
XRP up 5% to $0.65, cents, and Polkadot up 2.8% to $16.33. And as we continue to scroll down through the rest of the market cap listing, you can see that on the week, everything is down close to 20 20%, 20 or more. It was a rough week in the cryptocurrency space. In the last 24 hours, we're pulling back up again, though. There really aren't any outliers here. Tron's taken off in the last 24, up 20% to six cents. And that will cover it for our market overview for the day. Let's look at some news. Here is some incredible news coming out of New York City. New York City will become a Bitcoin center, says the city's mayoral lead candidate, Eric Adams. So Eric Adams is currently front runner in the 2021 New York City mayoral election in the Democratic primary, and he appears to be pro crypto. He said this, I'm going to promise you in one year, you're going to see a different city. He said during his election night party speech on Monday, we're going to bring businesses. We're going to become the center of life science, the center of cyber security, the center of self-driving cars, drones, the center of Bitcoins. Interesting. Adams aims to turn New York City into a technology center if he wins the mayoral race, which he is currently leading with nearly 32% of the votes, according to data from the New York Times. The final results are likely to be announced during the week of July 12th. He is currently over 75,000 votes ahead of his closest rival, Maya Wiley, according to the New York Times. While Adams, a retired police officer, didn't elaborate how he plans to turn New York City into the center of Bitcoin, he will be competing against Miami, which is becoming a crypto center, thanks to his Bitcoin-friendly mayor, Francis Suarez, and low taxes. Miami, you had your one. We're bringing our businesses back, said Adams. <laughs> Well, we will see. It's incredible to see this. So here you have a Democrat seeing the light. There's been such a mass exodus from New York City down in New York in general to Florida because of the tax benefits and friendliness, business friendly climate and crypto friendly climate. So we shall see if he gets elected and this becomes a reality. This could be a serious win and a huge reversal for New York. Since New York has been one of the least friendly states toward crypto historically. All right. The Ethereum proposal, the Ethereum improvement proposal, 1559. Moving on to our next story. Some good news for Ethereum. The Ethereum testnet launches successfully. Ropeston, the Ethereum testnet, has successfully upgraded earlier this Thursday with the fee market reforming Ethereum improvement proposal EIP-1559 now live in test conditions. But what does this mean? What it means is that one or two F are being burned by the block, with 85.13 F being burned in the past 64 blocks. So in total, 1,238 F of course, these are funny money monopoly. This is an actual F because it's on the test net. It has been burned since the upgrade 12 hours ago at block 10,499,401 or 2.5 million. So what this means is that once this goes live onto the Ethereum network, rather than the miners getting those fees, that's going to get burned. It's going to get sent to an address that no one has the private key to. It's part of the protocol. What this should do in theory is take Ethereum from being currently inflationary, the supply is increasing, to where it could become deflationary, where as much is being burned as is being created, which would be a good thing for Ethereum. Now, other issues that come into play here is how are the miners going to respond and how is this going to work with the transition to proof of stake? And there's a lot here that is yet to be seen. However, positive movement in the right direction, hopefully, for Ethereum.
here is another news item which is very good for Solana. Facebook, Google, Apple, Tesla stocks are coming to Solana. The FTX exchange is leading the launch of tokenized stocks on Solana alongside digital assets AG. This is not something that we haven't seen before in the cryptocurrency space. We have a number of cryptocurrencies solutions, solutions that provide essentially derivatives of traditional stocks on a cryptocurrency platform where you can then buy those stocks as derivatives, even fractional amounts, and sell and trade and hold all that sort of thing. But this is happening with some really big players on the Solana blockchain, and so that makes this interesting. Solana will host tokenized stocks for a range of companies, including Facebook, Apple, Google, Netflix, NVIDIA, PayPal, Square, and Tesla. There's something like 55. Oh, this it says it right here in total. Digital Assets AG, DAAG, plans to list the 55 tokenized stocks on the Layer 1 blockchain platform, Solana. The Swiss firm provides free floating stocks on exchanges like Binance and FTX, as well as on private blockchains. Free floating tokens are regulated assets that represent the publicly issued supply of those shares. The securities prospects of DAAG tokenized stocks is endorsed by the Financial Market Authority, the FMA of Liechtenstein, making the stocks valid in the European economic area. According to a press release shared with Crypto Briefing, FDX Exchange will pilot trading DAG's stock tokens on Solana. Any users who complete the exchange's KYC process and live in permitted jurisdictions will be able to trade the tokens. FTX is a leading supporter of Solana as a hub for next generation DeFi applications. The exchange is run by Sam Bankman Fried, who also owns Alameda Research, a trading firm that's backed many projects in the blockchain ecosystem. Speaking of the launch, Bankman Fried said, DAG's tokenized stock infrastructure will help facilitate a paradigm shift in the underlying market structure, and we're excited to continue working with Solana and DAG to set the standard in this industry. This is a good thing. There's a lot of reasons why tokenizing traditional stocks and trading them, selling them in that way can, can be hugely beneficial, bring a lot of opportunity, even with things such as the way that paying out dividends from stocks currently occurs and how it's sort of uh, obtuse and difficult and complicated and expensive for companies. These are revolutionary steps. They're moving in a really, really great direction. Again, very positive for adoption. Crypto, something to keep an eye on and watch. We'll be keeping you updated, obviously, as we cover the news every single day. Okay, friends, that's going to wrap it up for today. I have a little bit of a shorter podcast. Maybe try to keep these a little bit shorter uh, for a while and, and have, I say that, but then I get off on subjects and it just, you know, can't stop. So <laughs> no promises. All right. I hope you have a phenomenal day. My name is Justin Cummins. Thank you for tuning into the Block Thrasher Daily Crypto Update on this Thursday, June 24th. Just about to wrap up this week, almost about to wrap up this month. It's amazing how quickly time goes, isn't it? I appreciate you all. Please continue to tune back in and download the podcast or you know, hit the uh, subscribe button on the YouTube channel and uh, check out the videos each day and stay, stay abreast of what is happening in the cryptocurrency space. All right. See you again tomorrow. Love you all. See ya.